my name is Josh Bagdano. It's March 21st, 2012. We are at the Sheffield Wind Farm in Sheffield, Vermont, and we are at Turbine 2, which is right behind me here. I definitely got into wind energy because I, I wanted to make a difference. Although this isn't um, the only answer, it is an answer. People are always thinking about locally distributed food supply, locally distributed energy supply. This is a perfect example of us being energy independent because we have a local project here that is producing enough energy for literally thousands of Vermont homes and it's happening in our backyard as opposed to somewhere foreign which is really incredible to think about. As far as um, you know the, our output we've been on average powering about uh, 16,000 homes um, daily you know all the energy staying in Vermont so it's, um, all these things are important. Most people who see this project really like it, whether they're seeing it from a distance or they're seeing it as close as we are today. Yeah, Les Waller is going to come up here and uh, protest this, but I have to say that I'm totally, totally swept away with this, and I think anybody that has uh, reservations about this should come up and take a look, and it's just jaw-dropping. These are really beautiful, they're beautiful machines, and I, I just love them. I'm proud they were producing clean energy. I'm proud that we're the first, you know, large wind project in Vermont projects producing what we said it was and it's not having the impacts that people claim it would. They're extremely efficient. One of these will replace 650 other um, turbines and when you think about that, that's what makes sense. I'm very grateful to be up on Sheffield and looking at these beautiful symbols of progressive thinking. I think there's a future in more large-scale wind in Vermont, but I think there's also a future for uh, more solar, for smaller scale wind, for wind that powers farms. It's the way we're going and uh, I think people should get involved in it if they can.